All right, so what we're doing is we put three cups of um, flour in here. Did you add the two teaspoons? Yes, the two, whatever? No, it's one teaspoon, so it's half and half. Okay, you can put the salt back. We're going to add, um, we added one teaspoon of salt in here. Go ahead and start whistling up just a little bit. We're going to add um, a tablespoon or a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I'll probably add a tablespoon. See, I don't ever really measure nothing. That's why I tell you I don't ever really measure nothing. Um, because I'm making a lot more than we normally make of uh, bacon powder. So I put a tablespoon in there. Just the, that's the dry mixture, and then we're going to mix the wet mixture separate. Step back, let me grab it. I have a separate bowl here and it's going to be for the wet mixture so you're good on that put that back in the cabinet over there and for the wet mixture um you just sit at the top somewhere right there hand me those eggs so we're gonna go ahead and crack in two eggs i would rather crack more i might end up adding another egg but that's two eggs. Go ahead and whisk, whisk that together. Let me get some vanilla too. I like vanilla flavor in um, pretty much everything we make and bake. I better measure this. A tablespoon. You use this for the uh, salt? The little one? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> so this is a tablespoon. <laughs> I'm making sure that what she put, how much salt she put in here. So that's a tablespoon of salt. Oh, girl, that's a tablespoon of vanilla. I'm tired. We've been doing homeschool all morning. Tablespoon of vanilla. So we need about a cup of butter. And I'm just going to use this butter for right now. This, you know, fake butter. This will be enough. Put that in the microwave. I'll tell you when to stop it. I'm going to go ahead and melt that just a little bit. It don't need to be melted a lot because it's already soft. And it's the, I can't believe it's not butter, like the coconut one. Yeah, throw that back in the refrigerator. Um, now we need some sugar. And then after you whisk it a little bit, you can use this thing to, uh, to smooth it together. Because I'm going to give you uh, some sugar. To All right, so I said one and a half cup. So I don't even know what a half cup thing is. Oh, shoot. That's one. We want it kind of creamy. And that's like, that's about a half, huh? Yep. So we went to um, Kroger's and I got some bananas. These are organic bananas. But when they're like, they didn't look like this. They look way better than this. But they be in that bin where they wrap on, they be like 99 cents or something. Those are the ones I like to use for banana bread. Um, but anyway, I put these in the refrigerator so it can turn even more. Uh, but these going in here. Get the um that cake muffin pan we had the other day. Put that, just folding it in because I don't want to mash the bananas any more than we've already been mashed them. I don't want no big chunks, but I just I want like the little beady pieces of um banana. So I'm just gonna keep stirring like this. It's probably like a one fourth cup scoop, but it don't matter because I'm gonna use way more than that anyway. Um, let's bake them in here so they can be done. We're going to, this back on 350 and start. Um, put that in the sink. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some and probably use like either two to three of these scoops in one of these little pans, like in thirds. <clears throat> then we're going to have to put these in something else. Go get, see if we have a bigger muffin pan down there. Just a big gold looking muffin pan. Okay, so we're gonna use that one. Get the cleanup out that says. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna turn the light on. I need to clean up a little bit. I'm gonna make some tea, then me and Tara will hit this area and clean up this area. And then hopefully these will be done and then we'll see what it look like. You got the summertime love. I work for your heart all night to the dawn. You stay with they switch stars. I know you're the one. They go and they come. You like the summer breeze. Do the trees. You like a getaway. Shoot with me. You like the summertime love. You like the summertime love. I pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life in the park.
pop for the weekend Girl, I said you're the one and I mean it I mean it, yeah, I mean it. I, mean it. Oh, oh. I told my baby we can do what you want yeah. Take the stress away from what you've been going through yeah. Girl, there's one thing on my mind and it's always you Yeah, it's always you Feet up, palm trees, sundress, daiquiri Where you look at me is staggering Where I break out, songs as factory Where I look at you like You got the summertime love to finish up those dishes everything's pretty much uh clean in here tara knocked off this counter and uh let's see that little light that little light we'll leave them alone um we're gonna go ahead and put this in the uh microwave because it's already like 12 40 something okay so the microwave is dirty let me know when it's clean and this area 
yeah let me just mop the floor oh i wanted to show y'all this is what we used on quest when he had like those hot spots or he turns red and has like allergic reactions or whatever it's the mtg so this is main tail and groom but this is actually like this is sulfur period <laughs> Um, it says fungus, rain rot, um, girth itch, scratches, uh, sweet itch, tail rubbing, dry skin, um, bug bites, mane and tail detangling, mane and tail growth, mane and tail conditioning. I should have showed y'all what it looked like the first time he had an allergic reaction. If, I really don't want to plug the pictures because you might freak out. It might like bother some people or trigger something, but pretty much you shake. And it becomes like a thicker liquid. Um, it's no longer separated. And it smells just like sulfur 8. Back in the day, people used to use it in hair. Um, but I'm going to leave it here because every once in a while we see a spot. And we just put it on him because he's in and out the backyard with the kids. We're kind of trying to watch that too. I'm cleaning with um, Method today. My Method cleaner. And then I've been using, what else we got? We got Lysol. I added some... Um, what do you call that uh, alcohol to this, the home spray? I heard something else. It was that 99% um, bacteria or something that um, it must be upstairs. It's a, one of them cleaning sprays. Go, you clean the microwave? I'm waiting for the... Um, uh, it's already enough on there. We don't want our food to smell and taste like that. That stuff is strong. I need this receipt. <laughs> All right, so I said the other day I wanted to clean up in here and film with y'all, but we'll do that another day. It's not really that dusty. Um, what else are we doing? I did get a package in, y'all. And I so while we waiting on this banana bread, this is what the box looks like. Um, it's Estomera, and it is making your life shiny. It's a really cute little box. Look, little thing right here, and you pull it out. This is it's kind of heavy. What is this? A card? A warranty card, and it has a warranty number at the bottom here. But this is um, an authenticity card. It's pretty heavy too. I like this little packaging. Um, what is this? Oh, it's just a little bag. I guess to keep your jewelry in. Those little nice velvet bags. This is actually a thick one. Anything else in here I need to see? Nope. Got that East egg. <laughs> Stuff it up in there. All right. I haven't opened this up yet. That's a little box. That's cute. All right. Estomera on the back. So this is handmade jewelry. Just so you know, it's handmade. And then once it's made, it's sent to you. Oh, I have it upside down. Oh, this is so pretty. This is what this looks like. I'm going to put more information at the bottom of the screen. And I'll probably do a separate video on it so y'all can kind of see um, more detail what this ring looks like. Blinging so much, you can barely see the detail. It's so dainty and so pretty. I'm glad my nails are clean. I've washed my hands so much, my nails have don't have a choice but to be clean. <laughs> but uh, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna do a better video definitely and share more with y'all. But this is so pretty, especially um, once all this drama is over and y'all able to shop and you feel comfortable and the economy is not. Um, in a hole, but some it's for some of us is hard times. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> some of y'all might be doing just fine. Some of us are like, ma'am, what's going on? Penny's almost done with the dishes, kitchen and and the little game room is done, pretty much. And I just need to mop that floor in there. So let's check one more time. Ooh, it's coming. Okay, let me get something to check it with. These. I told y'all I use these for everything. Ooh, she came out clean. She ready. Here, put this in there. This is dirty. Let's put this back so y'all can see. Um, take the top off that food. You can put that food in the microwave uh, for like three minutes. All right, let's get these off of here. That tea do not taste good without sugar or without something. Agave something. Um, hold on. She warming up for me.
give me another one of these from down there. This was the leftover um, dough. Give me a knife, Crystal. Like I just need a knife, baby. Alright, so it's too hot to taste right now. All I taste is hot. I don't taste no um, sugar. Plates. The, the square plate. Yeah. Okay. I taste the sugar now. You have to let it kind of settle first. That's what that is. That's a whole bunch of warming up. What's going down? Yeah, sure, yeah. Can somebody give me a towel so I can dry the dish? This dish is wet. Hand me that. Yeah. Well, you wanted to do it. Well, you did it. So, so I have like four left. We'll make some more. Hmm? We will make some more. Put that over there. I want to try the banana. Oh, okay. So you just want a little bit of food with your banana bread? We're, we're eating food. And we're not just smacking. I gotta make sure y'all full. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is their uh, pasta. It's a, those big bags you get at like Sam's and Costco. And what I'm doing is um, every once in a while I get those bags and I add like an Alfredo or something like that. But during these times, honey, we ain't add none of that. Here, take that plate, Christopher. Take that plate. That plate right there, son. It's a plate. Take it. Oh, that's it. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, okay. You don't have to wash it right now. I'll wash it with this. You're supposed to wash all those cups that's over there. And I um, made penny one, too. She said it's good. Or oh, a salad? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all had a salad yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. With tomatoes? Juice. Tomato juice. Mm -hmm. So say it again. I open the tomato and squeeze it everywhere. You open the tomato and squeeze it everywhere. So it wouldn't be too much juice in one spot. Cause I don't like it like that. Mm-hmm. And then what? And then I put I mix the the ranch with your vegan ranch. And I put croutons. What vegan ranch? I don't have no bigger ranch. Oh. Oh, oh with the dressing? Okay. So, tomato juice, dressing, ranch dressing, and that was that's what you put in your salad? And I put croutons. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. All right, I got to eat some of my food. I can't just eat bread, so... Mm -hmm. Everybody been a half piece? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna start making smoothies. Okay. You can make a smoothie later after we work out. We're gonna work out. Let me figure out what I'm gonna eat. You need the PE workout or just the PE workout? You gonna walk too? Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be on just dance or just some? Somebody's, I think, Facebook page. All right, so I got some letters. Um, I'm gonna be full. I got some pico. I'm gonna be full off a half of this. I don't know how y'all eat these big ones. I made uh, pico yesterday. Pico de gallo. Mm. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? That's what's top. Pico de gallo. Oh, de gallo? De, de gallo. Pico de gallo. De gallo. 
you got your cake buns and then some slices so i'm gonna make my salad penny come get your food Oh, this was washed yesterday. Still kind of wet. I tried to leave some of the pieces big because I thought about making like the tacos, the roll up tacos or the roll up sandwiches where you take this and roll it up with like chickpeas. That's why I had this like this. But um, I just want a small salad. I don't want nothing too big. All right, so I have some more of these left, the organic, fully cooked, super bean mix. Um, I don't need the whole bag. I just need some. 16 grams of uh, protein, some fiber in there, gluten-free. It is vegan. You do not warm up this pack. These came from, like, Costco. Uh, but these are good to put in, like, soups and salads or whatever, or wraps. It says April 20th, 2020. I hope they're still good. I've had these for a little bit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of beans. They look like they're still good. They're like vacuum packed beans, almost like. So that's good. And it's just red beans and chickpeas and they're like old navy, old navy, <laughs> like navy beans. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna add some pico on top. That'll probably just be my dressing, actually. That's what the pico looks like. Ooh, you know what? I could have just ate chips and salsa. I don't need no food. I probably wouldn't be able to eat all this. God dog it. I love pico, though, so... It's not really that hot. Well, it wasn't that hot yesterday. I just scooped a lot on here, didn't I? So this is pretty much what I'm going to eat. Try to not eat so many carbs. I ate that half of that muffin, and that's all I'm eating. Of that muffin, Lord. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, just a little bit because it's gonna have to last. I don't know when I can get back to Costco or Sam's. All right, and then hold. On. You eating it as if it's cornbread? You was eating it with your food? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I don't like the um, bottom because it's crispy on the bottom. You don't like the crispy part on the bottom? It's barely crispy. It's bare. This not even crispy. Look how moist this is. And there's a banana. That's moist. It's supposed to be. It's moist. Don't you throw that away. It's moist. You know, like, mm mm. <laughs> I saw a piece of that in the um thing the other day in the trash. So I was wondering about that. Mm. All right. This is our little stash that we hoping we can live off of for a little while. A lot of rice and beans. Um, got some frozen food, some um, oats and stuff like that. A little bit of potatoes. Waiting on dog food to come in the mail for my monthly order. Um, but we got some stuff. We're going to start sharing some little meals every day with y'all. On a how to live, you know, on a budget and how we can eat and, you know, make it through this ordeal here. Yep, yep, yep. That's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to make myself take a nap. I really haven't been getting any sleep, so you can tell I'm exhausted. You can kind of see, like, the puffiness right here. I'm just kind of, like, tired. And then, you know, that time of month is rolling through, and it really messes me up. Um, so, uh, they'll be outside. Make sure you turn that light off when you're done, Penny. Putting up all the dishes. Okay. And then, um, I'm just gonna mop later. Um, it may rain, but it's still gonna be like 85 degrees today. So, um, I'll try to film some of our PE lesson today. <laughs> so, y'all can catch it on tomorrow with us. And, um, that's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace out. <laughs>